What's going on Ape Nation? Good evening. I want to make a quick video today doing some technical analysis on AMC and see what we got going on for next week. So before we get started, if you can hit that like button, I really appreciate it. So here we can obviously see that we are in this channel. It's respecting this trend line down here quite well. If you see today almost touched it or barely touched it and really bounced back which was nice. If we look at the intraday, it's easier to see that bounce right here. It pretty much touched the line and it took off. That was a very nice move. But going back to the daily, so we are in this channel. It seems to be coiling. We have this top resistance line that that will be the breakout over this trend to get out of this channel. And now if we draw a Fibonacci too, I like to uh, use Fibonacci a lot to find levels of support and resistance. So here you can see that we pretty much have a, a double support here, which explained that bounce was very clean. It's also a, uh, a line on the Fibonacci, the 38.2 line. Okay, so that is very nice. So let's take all these drawings off. So one thing that it worries me a little bit is a lot of $70 calls got smoked. There was some pretty big bullish flow for these $70 calls. And uh, as we know, they, they a lot of them got burnt. And especially the very short term close to expiration calls. And one thing is being consolidating, consolidating on this level for a while now. So something to pay attention to. I know the Ape Nation is very loyal and uh you know with the huddling and the diamond hands but you can start seeing some people getting out of the stock because it's not running as fast as they were expecting i know a lot of you guys been holding all the way from down here but there is a lot of other new investors that bought in already in this area hoping for that push above 72 dollars for new highs and get that real good squeeze that everybody's waiting for. And those are the guys that I'm worried about paper handing this thing since it's not doing it right away like they expect it to. So as you can see here on the volume profile, there is not gonna be a lot of demand in this area. So a drop out of this box, so let's say here to the downside, it could move pretty quick guys it, it could be a, a very nasty drop pretty quick because there is not going to be a lot of demand on this area if you can see most of the demand is going to be down here starting on the 20 dollar level so hopefully we can you know still stay grinding up and keep pushing up so far so good today a lot of people got caught a lot of shorts got caught because they thought that it was just going to keep going lower and it actually bounced very nice. Let's look at the intraday chart. Let's delete the drawing set. So a lot of people here got caught. Especially, oh, there was a lot of people shorting this because they were waiting for a big breakdown. And then this bounce right here, this five minute, five minute candle was brutal to these shorts which I really, really liked. Then here broke VWAP and it was game over. The smart shorts covered and the dumb shorts are about to get messed up and they don't deserve anything less because that right there, this reclaim over VWAP should have told them and I'm talking about intraday shorts because I don't think that the, the, big, the big problem with the shorts and AMC are gonna be hedge funds and institutions. I believe most of the intraday traders that are shorting this are doing it intraday, meaning they are not holding short positions for more than one day. Some people probably will be holding overnight and stuff like that, but I highly doubt, especially over a long weekend, uh, you know, a uh, 4th of July weekend, I doubt that any retail short seller is holding any stock short on AMC. So the squeeze that we want here is not going to be from the retail shorts. Those guys, their positions are going to be small enough that they are going to be able to get out quick. 
we want those millions of shares short and all these naked shorts. Those are the ones that are going to give the squeeze because they won't be able to just cover their entire position with a couple transactions. They are going to be buying and buying and going to take this thing to the moon. But again, guys, I like you guys know if you watch my videos, I am very realistic when it comes to expectations. And that is the one thing that I am worried about, that it is not doing it as fast as a lot of people thought. And a lot of newer investors, especially the ones that bought up here, I have the feeling that they are going to be getting out of their position, you know, freeing up that cash to find the next play. But the vast majority of AMC retail holders, I know that you guys, the Ape Nation, I know you guys are diamond handing this thing all the way from down here. Most of you guys got really good freaking averages. So right now you're just waiting for it, baby. But yeah, those that's that's what I see, guys. We have this channel again. That this is gonna mark the breakdown or the breakout. I would love to see this bounce here. So we are right here. I would like to see to test this. Then this is just a scenario, right? Hypothetically speaking, we have this support level about this price. So this is where I would like. I would like to go to test this upper resistance. Then I would like it to come down to test this support that we've touched multiple times, right? This support has been touched multiple times. So I would like it to go test that resistance again, give us a bounce to this support, and then hopefully from here to the sky. And that's what I want to see. That's what I would love to see. And that's what I'm hoping for. All right, guys. So I hope you have a good weekend, man. If you enjoyed these videos, again, consider subscribing for more. And make sure you hit that like button. Have a good night, guys.